Hello sir, welcome to Tech Texel. Uh, can you share uh, about your profile and uh, your company, what the Orlicon is doing and uh, about the technical textile, how the Orlicon helping the industry? Yeah, in technical textile, let me say some general things now, what is happening in India. Like in the political thing also you can see that it was incredible India in 2002 and in 2023 it is inevitable India. Similarly in technical textiles also few years back people were not believing that how come a textile can be so technical. But now this technical textile is inevitable, the growth is inevitable as well as the technical textile has become a very well known uh, item in India. The reason behind India, such a big country, is going for major infrastructure development. Thousands of kilometers of roads are being added, new airports are being added, and there lies the possibility of huge amount of technical textile applications, apart from the applications in medical textiles, agricultural field, and also other industrial field. In Orlicon, we have the machine, we have the complete portfolio, to supply the IDY machines, industrial yarn spinning machines, right from polymerization up to the final yarn, the finished yarn, which is the basic input material for the technical textiles. We also have the geotextiles and non-oven product for high quality Melbourne line and span bonded and needle punch in the geotextile lines made from polypropylene and polyester. As far as IDY is concerned, industrial yarn spinning is concerned, we are always the market leader both in, the Ch in China as well as in India and we do hope that in future major projects will come for industrial yarn spinning because our IDY spinning capacity is very very low compared to China and we need major expansion to happen in India and hopefully we will be able to supply the latest and the best quality machineries for both nylon and polyester IDY. And as I mentioned that we also have the Orlicon non-oven portfolio where we will supply the machines for geotextiles and other non-ovens which are required for technical textiles. We do see a very bright future in India post uh, China slowdown and under this present uh, geopolitical scenario where India is going to be a leading producer of textiles in the world, including technical textiles. All the government policies are very much proactive and the government with this special NTTF, this National Technical Textile Mission, is going to support the industry in a very big way, both in R&D and in product development, which are very critical and crucial for the development. We also need to set up good quality, high standard testing laboratory uh, and center of excellence to develop more technical textiles in future in India. Extraordinary scheme what has been given to India, which no other country in the Southeast Asia is offering. So this PLI scheme will help somebody to in set up an integrated facility right from polymer up to the finished technical textile product. The customers who, who are going to avail this uh, PLI scheme, they are going to be really benefited. And this is really a very unique scheme and it is now applicable for technical textiles as well. Uh, so far what I know that many of our customers have applied for PLI schemes but uh, success will depend on uh, I mean, uh, uh, when the plans are commissioned and it is, it is not a short term gain, it is a long term policy. So we can comment on the success only after couple of years. But as on today, on paper, it looks a very attractive scheme. Thank you.